Okay, starting recording as well because they want me to record. I have missed the beginning one. Nevertheless. Uh, Dr. Samrin, how much of the paper are we already done with this record? This one is total 176 or something and we are already done with only 70 are remaining. Okay. okay. But doesn't matter, it's mostly yeah, is there, but then January 2020 is and not that much important since you people will be appearing. Dr. Samrin, this is this is Dr. Samrin, this is going to be the first uh, recall in the series that we're going to start, right? Yes, today is the first one. What I was trying to say that uh, this is not that important for you people who are appearing in September exam. Recall done. Recalls of September are more important. For you okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Mostly, ma uh, yeah, mostly recalls or questions. Should we do, ma'am, 2000? After 2015 or we should have to do more? Last five um, are enough, normally, but people okay. say. But then uh, what they say, last five uh, exams of, uh, if you just take last five exams of September or last five years exam, or last five, last five exams. See, so it's all different. It's not the same. Okay, ma'am. So we did a recall of 2015. Yes. Or like every session, or like uh, which were so you've available. We've already done. Very much, ma'am. On our group. Yes, but then I can maybe slow down, or I can maybe revise something else. If you people have already done this, then maybe. It's no, I don't think so. Everyone. Um, no, ma'am. We did it on our group, and still we have so many confusions. Some MCQs doesn't make sense. They are not MCQs, Doctor. They are recalls. So yes, I'm recalls. Sorry. What makes sense? Okay, yes, uh, so which drug used in SLE that can give more chance of osteoporotic fractures or something? So, steroids, yes, steroids, yes, ma'am, yes, it has osteoclastic function, yes, so, so what no happens in S uh, SLE? It's an autoimmune disease in which uh, yes. um, there is uh, there are multiple things like arthritis, what? joint stiffness, skin arthritis, yes. skin changes, skin changes yes. sunburns. This doctor is one want to discuss it on WhatsApp. We are discussing on WhatsApp and Zoom both. Maybe he doesn't yes. want that Zoom session. Osteoporotic mm. fracture and what would you expect in the blood? Normal labs. Very good. Everything is going to be normal. Calcium, yes. PTH, yes. phosphorus, everything. In hyperparathyroidism, uh, primary, secondary, tertiary, in primary, PTH and calcium are going to be increased. In secondary, PTH and phosphorus are going to increase. In tertiary, all three are increased. Very in good. osteoporosis, everything is going to be normal. And in graduates, ALP is going to raise. Very good. Yes. In osteomalacia is... Yes, osteomalacia, calcium, and one thing more. I forgot. Tasnuva, do you remember? No. no. There Dr. was a chart. Dr. Hina right? is not here. She maybe knows. Yes, there was a chart. I'll send you in the picture. Or Dr. Bhutan is recalling and telling something. 
Yes. Question about spinal cord protruding what type myelomeningitis is? If it's just hair tough, then it is a spina bifida occulta. If there are just um, meninges, no, not meninges. If there is just sac protruding, then it's meningocele. And if there are nerves involved, then myelomeningocele. Yes. There is a picture, but I don't know where that is. I had it somewhere. And Burhan, okay, Ilmun has shared one. Yes, this is it. Yes, ma'am. This is for what me. Yeah. Thank you, Moon. Yes, this You're is. Welcome. This is Austria Malaysia. ALP is raised. Both calcium and phosphate are low. Good. Okay, yes, low. Yes. Congenital or embryology next. This one, this is also embryo, and this question that I'm posting is also embryology. So okay. this is associated with what? Yes. Later extrophy. Yeah. This bladder. Yes. Extrophy. Slit on For dorsal surface of the penis. Right. They are talking about the epispadiasis. Yes. Yes, does anyone have these charts that they are asking for? Neural tube defects. Um, I have in step book, Kaplan, I'll send it later. Okay. Right, this one is about fluid calculation for a burn patient. So yes. how would you calculate in 24 hours? Um, first we will calculate two into, two into body weight into percentage of burn. Yes, and this is percentage of burn. One leg in perineum would be how much? 19. Yes. One leg is anterior posteriorly, whole leg 18, and perineum is one. So one leg two. means below knee or the whole uh, lower limb? No, one below knee, I think. One leg, it's below knee. Okay, then 19, right? The whole leg is 18. Okay. Whole and leg means lower perineum. limb. One, one, only one. No, no, I'm asking that leg means what? Below knee or whole lower limb from thigh and leg? What do Then it will be whole lower limb. So this is one leg. Leg is uh, below knee. If we take the whole leg, like including thigh, then it's going to be 19. And if we take half, then it's going to be 4.5, 4.59. Yeah, yes. so it's nine and nine one is and perineum, one, so ten. ten. Yes, ma'am. Ten into two, two into weight. Twenty. Mama. So Dr. Tosna was is yeah. <laughs>
He's still calculating um, whole whole limb, whole Man, whole limb has. Sorry. Yes, we, will. we will have weight given in exam. Yes, it should will be, be given. given. Otherwise, you can't calculate the fluid. Yes, but I'm just discussing that uh, they are calculating the whole leg, whole lower yes, limb. Yes, yes, calculate the whole lower limb. So we discussed which ones are the which one is the most radio dense zone? Calcium oxalate, calcium oxalate, and phosphate. Calcium phosphate as well. Good. Right. You called once and Dr. Lam came. Right, so network is still. What is the best prognosis factor for melanoma? Breast low thickness. Yes. So how would you differentiate it from Clark's level? I forgot Clark's level. Clark's level is what? It's also for a pro, uh, melano, mal malignant melanoma prognosis, but there's different some. Yes, uh, what is the it's the uh, breast flow is more accurate now. Yeah, so I know. We, but yes. What uh, is the difference? Uh, Clark uh, Clark uh, describes the uh, like epidermis up to then uh, reticular uh, year of epidermis uh, like this. Uh, the classification was like anatomy. It's anatomical classification. Uh, yeah, and Breslow was with millimeter. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Network is really bad. WhatsApp starts uh, stops working uh, the moment signal stop. I don't know why. Maybe I should change my location. Okay. Of one fourteen innervation of the costal part of the right apula, but when you put in chest tube. My parietal part is by intercostal nerve and mediastinal part is by phrenic nerve. Yes. So it will be intercostal nerves. Right. Yes, Sophia has also sent something I was moving around. Let's see. And chart classification. Yes, now you've got it. It's because of an optical level. Yes, ma'am. So intercostal nerves and next one. How to put this question? Right, tell me about nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Everything that you know about it. Nephrogenic diabetes insipidus has hypovolumia, not hyper. Yes. Yes. And in and what condition do you have hypovolumia? Types of nephrogenic. Yeah. Uh, it's, yes. it's, please go ahead. Please, please go ahead. Okay, nephrogenic diabetes insipidus has two types: uh, central and um, 
okay this is nephrogenic sorry diabetes and hepatitis has zoo type nephrogenic and center in nephrogenic the uh, adh is produced in normal amounts but yes. we have a uh, defect at the level of renal the receptors level so it yeah. won't act, act and there is going to be less absorption of uh, water and sodium so patient is going to have hypovolemia low plasma osmolality uh, uh, plasma osmolality is going to be high but uh, and there is going the urine is going to be diluted and in large amount it's opposite sidh and in sidh we are going to have either hypovolemia or normal volumia and uh, the um, there is going to be uh, sodium low level because of the increased absorption of water while in the urine it's going to be uh, concentrated small amounts good One sixteen. Someone stab in chest. What happens in chest? Pneumothorax and a series of options. Yes. Um. There is going to be um, raised JVP, decreased yes. cardiac output, and uh, muffled heart. Um, uh, absent um, breath sounds and hyperresonant percussion notes. How would you manage uh, tension pneumothorax? Inter needle thoracostomy in the fifth intercostal space. Yes. Need exhalation. Yes, my dear, they run. Would there be raised JVP? Yes, ma'am. It's obstructive. Yes. Uh, it causes obstructive shock, so there is going to be raised JVP. Yes. Atia. Yes. Yeah, they are talking about tension pneumothorax or uh, cardiac tamponade. I'm talking about tension, tension pneumothorax. pneumothorax. Okay. Okay. There will be then uh, shifting of the trachea too. To the yes, most important. So one week wound healing. What will be the process? Angiogenesis. And neutrophil will migrate, and there are yes. going to be uh, clot, then clot desorption, angiogenesis. Yes. There is fibroblast formation. That happens later, isn't it? Fibroblast? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Not is in first week. One eighteen skin. A guy hit his finger with the hammer. Now has some lesion at the side. It's uh, dermatofibroma yes. and also dermatofibroma. Uh, granuloma. Depends Why? on the type of lesion. If it's a, uh, it's a, a friable lesion with uh, bleeding, it's pyogenic granuloma. It's pyogenic. And if it's a nodule, fibrous nodule, it's dermatofibroma. There was another recall where they are saying that after uh, hit with a hammer in the distal finger, there, there could be aneurysm also. Later. Yes. So it depends on lesion type of lesion. Okay. In 119, green nipple discharge, long story diagnosis. It's ductectasia. Okay. Uh, which one is associated with smoking? Ductectasia. Yeah, and and it's an, okay. Actually, this condition, this both condition can oh, coexist. Yes. Yeah, and it, sometimes there is ductation, uh, which causes periductal mastitis. And sometimes the inflammation for start first, which is periductal mastitis, and it causes ductation later. So this condition could coexist. Good. So what should be the treatment of it? Management? Hack field operation. Yeah. Yes. If mastitis, then antibiotics. And, and then ductation. Yes. Heart field is first or first microdectomy? Microdectomy is for interdictal papilloma. You just remove one duct, and here you remove the total duct excision. Yeah, ductectasia is usually uh, all the ducts involved, I think. Yes. Okay.
120, lady with the breast cancer has mastectomy, 5 out of 14 loads are positive. Uh, she's ER, PR negative, her septum positive. Why, what do you give? There were only two possible right, her septum alone or her septum and chemotherapy. So we will go with her septum and chemotherapy. Her septum yes. because she is her septum positive and chemo because nodes are involved and it's probably grade three. And for grade three, we go for chemo. True. And the old patient. Oh, age is not given. Old patient patient. has nothing to do with chemo. You give chemo when, uh, depending upon the nodal status, stage of disease. For stage 3 and nodal yes, disease. stage 3 and chemo. nodal disease, we gave chemo. Yes. Yes. But there is in somewhere, right? This is also kind of similar. Lady with the breast cancer puts her hands out of bras and fracture her humerus. Why would she put out of hand? For bus. She like bus is coming okay, and she's that. stretching out her hand to stop the bus. So okay. she has because yes, and this is pathological fracture. Why ma'am? It's pathological fracture. Uh, spread, because she has a metastatic. Yes. To humorous. Yes, but but this is a trauma, isn't it? No, 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 no trauma. No, you're not understanding. She has already cancer, which has spread it to uh, humerus. And the only thing she did, she stretched her hand out to stop the bus. She has mm -hmm. not uh, acquired any trauma. So in just by doing that, stretching her arm out, she acquired, uh, it was pathological fracture. Okay. And there is another. She's hit by a bus alone. She's in hit by a bus. She just no, put no, her no. hand out, and that caused the trauma. Yeah, that caused a fracture. No trauma without okay, trauma. Okay. But I saw a recall question. That was the same feature, but without no uh, given breast cancer thing. Okay, so I was there is one that more. Given... Uh, she also has a history of breast cancer. Uh, maybe not recent, but then she tries to come out of her bed and she cannot. Like nothing happened, and that is also pathological fracture. Pathological also. fracture. Yes. Okay, ma'am. So these sort of things. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, normally. No, no, normally. She even put her hand out and it got fractured by a bus. We thought it's. No. That. No, she but didn't. Atiyah, that is a recall. You will you will get it. That no, 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 no. no. This is EMRCS question as well. Yes. Yes. A very similar EMRCS question is like this. No, no, ma'am. I'm talking about there is a question that hit by a bus. Then what type of fracture will occur? Okay, tell there me. There's no given if, breast cancer. Yeah, no. Then if it's direct trauma, then mm -hmm. uh, depending upon a uh, bus has hit leg, thigh or uh, arm, depends. If it's leg, what kind of fracture it would uh, cause? Direct trauma usually causes transverse fracture. Yes. Transverse fracture. And if it's twisting, it's spiral fracture. Mostly spiral, yeah. Okay, 122 breast serocygenous discharge. I don't know. It's mainly fibrocystic disease which causes serosanguinous discharge. Sometimes it's physiological and sometimes very rarely ductectasia may also present as uh, serosanguinous discharge. Okay. So which fibrocystic disease may cause serosanguinous discharge? Fibrocystic disease of breast. Okay. Breast abscess has no chance of no, it's not serocygenous. And breast, breast abscess, abscess, post abscess doesn't cause a discharge. Yeah. Abscess is a localized collection itself. And if the pus starts coming out, it's different. Then it's a ruptured abscess or something or infection. But it doesn't come through the nipple. It will come through the yes. wound. Mm, okay. Will become a with fistula. And it's not serocygenous. It's pus discharge. One twenty-three. A question that I think was describing primary sclerosing cholangitis. It is associated with ulcerative colitis. It has beaded appearance on 
ultrasound in okay. extra hepatic ducts and uh, it's uh, also predisposed to obstructive jaundice yes present with obstructive jaundice yes itchy okay. skin yes what are other features of uh, primary sclerosing cholangitis obstructive jaundice pale uh, stool itchy pale skin stool, itchy yes. skin it has antimicrobial and Anti-mitochondrial. Yeah. Anti-mitochondrial in no 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 that's in uh, primary body cirrhosis. It has Bianca Bianca. Those. Can it be present in any other condition? Yes, ulcerative colitis. Other than that. Other than that. Autoimmune related conditions. Yes. Because all autoimmunes are related to each other, somehow. Is it autoimmune? I thought primary biliary cirrhosis is autoimmune. This is it also is auto Yes, okay. both. Okay. No, not both. That, Only one. In between them, both? one. No, no, Atiya. That's one. Maybe biliary or sclerosis. You can say belly. I don't remember from belly. I remember from Davidson. Let me check. So, liver problem got resected. So Why was it blue? Some Ma'am, because of the iron, hemochromatosis. Yes. Christian blue stain. So what is enhanced recovery protocol? Um, you keep the patient, uh, okay, there are multiple things in which uh, one um, patient should be and for not more than two hours. There you have to give carbohydrate loaded drink, early post-operative mobilization, uh, early breaking, uh, breaking of NPO, post-operative and uh, statins uh, and are given preoperatively to improve cardiac profile, morbidity, mortality. These are the ones I remember. Yes. You don't prepare bowel mechanically. So 126, patient was okay. Very good, thank you. Crazy question about footballer with the pain is to all the time worse when he runs excruciating with stabs. Gout, halus rigidus, halus rigidus, rigidus. It's rigidus because gout, patient won't be able to run and halus rigidus has different presentation. <coughs> Yes. It's uh, speed is so slow. Mine, I don't know why. Now, one seventy six, one twenty seven. So many left. Hypocalcemia. 
name the conditions okay mom peri oral um, numbness papapedia yes. spons and palsy sign and yes. shrastic sign yes yeah the one ecg changes yes There's going to be prolonged QCT interval in hypocalcemia. So what 128 scenario is nystagmus and atasia for pica involvement. Yes. Okay. This is, I think, an ear Yes, maybe. So what happens in case of pyloric stenosis? There is going to be vomit, non-bilious vomiting, uh, hypochloremic, uh, hypo hypochloremic, hypokalemic metabolic acidosis. Um, acidosis. And, um, alcalosis. Olive shaped mass. Some alkalosis. Yes. And olive shaped mass and epigastric region of the child. Yes. It happens around six weeks. Yes. So non bilis projectile vomiting. Yes, ma'am. And we do Ramstad procedure. Yes. What's the blood supply of the stomach? It's by short gastric artery and right gastroepiploic, left gastroepiploic. Greater uh, curvature and on the sh uh, lesser yes, curvature. Um, uh, fundus is supplied by short gastric artery and uh, then the lesser curvature is supplied by left and right gastric arteries. Uh, then the greater curvature on the is supplied by right gastroepiploic and left gastroepiploic. Yes. One thirty old guy with the metastatic prostate cancer to femur. What to do? Hormone therapy. Yes. We can't do the surgery now. He has mats. Would radiotherapy help? So for localized pain, yes. Yes. They ask two type of question. One for yes. the um, management of metastatic disease and one for, one the, for the management pain of pain. Yeah. Yes. So one uh, metastatic so, you've already told, so I asked you about the pain. 131, a question asking where glucose is absorbed in kidney, but in a very complicated way. Proximal convoluted tubule. Yes. What else is observed there? Ma'am, uh, glucose along with bicarb, calcium, a little bit, and uh, water. Yes. Yes, amino acid. 132 chronic pancreatitis situation, what is the cause? It alcohol. can be anything, chronic pancreatitis. So chronic pancreatitis, alcohol is the most, or cold stone. Yeah, could be anything. How is the pain relieved? Forward bending is the most common. Yes, ma'am. Forward bending. What would be the difference between uh, in the history of acute uh, pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis? If you can. 
in acute this will be the first attack and while chronic there will be history of uh, previous attacks in the same with the same presentation yeah and there is going to be might be aridema ebangi on examination because of the use of the hot water bottle true One thirty-three. Really weird. One saying a guy has a spinal mass or cancer or mass. Where is the level if it is not interfering with breathing? Thyroid, precord at the level of multiple organ joint. It's not precord. C six. Yes. Thyroid and organ joint are at C two level, so they will interfere. And then multiple is at C three, I think. So they all are going to interfere. They will press on phrenic nerve, nerve roots. Ordentoid is C six. There is no interference. G G. Sorry. Doctor Sunbrain, I could not understand what is the question. Where? Yeah. This record. This this one. Why 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 record? What is he asking basically? It's asking about the level which uh, would not be interfering with breathing. If meds are there, yes. Hmm. Okay, meds in the spine. Okay. Yes. Meds in the spine and. Right. And it's not interfering with your breathing process. Because of phrenic nerve, not involved in the, yes. at that level. Yes. Yes. Record is at C six level. Your C five is above it. It won't interfere with it. So C six, rest or all the levels can be involved. Yes, Doctor Burhan. Yes. If it's late night at your end, we can. Okay, we can maybe call it the end in a few minutes. Thank you. Yes. One thirty-four starts one saying in which what type of study confidential information is widely disseminated, and C four inquiry because it seemed on the logical option. I have no idea about starts. <laughs> This yeah could be. Yeah. So we are only going to answer if they get it from EMR. Yes. <laughs> This should that be enough. So I'll tell you one or two questions which come from past test, and that's it. You can just like. Practice them and you'll pass. Inshallah. Inshallah. So it won't be that difficult. Ma'am, if you could, if you could tell those questions now, because it's not every time uh, it becomes possible for me, especially, to participate in Zoom sessions. So if you could kindly. Zoom, at I, the end of this session, I arranged because they insisted so much. Otherwise, I wasn't having it. Okay. I'll I'll post in the group and I'll tag you. I would have to. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Okay, one thirty-five starts with unequal or unequal or whatever data. Okay. See, just two answers. It's man worth me. Yeah. <laughs> We don't know. <laughs> These are equals, you know. Um, you don't really know. Yes, man. If it's appeared, then. T test. That's all I know. If it's a normal distribution, then T test. If it's not in not yes, normal distribution like this, then man with me, I think. Yes. What about Bonferroni? Bonferroni test. If when you compare no multiple, idea. when you compare multiple tests. to uh, get the uh, real uh, you know to reach a conclusion and to compare multiple test then we do bonferroni 136 constant who was witness parent say their kid can't have the transfusion he has a pelvic fracture but they made it seem like he's stable like on serial h weight is going down every day we will consult the court patient yeah. is stable for right now we can consult court because a blood transfusion is not an emergency you yes, can wait and uh yeah so you'll go to court 
if it was a life saving procedure then you would have uh, they will proceed directly yourself yes and when to go to the coroner in what situation uh, when uh, there is death within first 24 hours of admission when there is unexplained death cause of death is not known uh, and there is whole long list okay then for organ transplantation other, if the patient has no relative or the patient relative says that uh, you can proceed with the organ transplant but the patient didn't say anything before dying we go to yeah. the coroner to harvest the organ Okay, one thirty-seven scrotal so mass in a young child. Yes. So the so the uh, actually the donor had uh, I mean promised for the graft or the you know graft and uh, the attendants or the family refused. So in that case, we'll go to the coroner. No, no, no. That case will no, be you won't go to the coroner. Doctor Tasnova. Uh, if the patient himself or herself agreed to organ donation before his death, then we will proceed with organ donation. We need no, need not to ask anyone else in UK. And why would you go for Corona? Could you please repeat that? Because if, uh, relatives are stopping you. Patient probably okay. had the, made the wish, but uh, relatives have changed their mind and they don't want to. One thirty seven scrotal mass in a young child which trans illuminated but irreducible hydrocele. Okay. Uh, one thirty eight a uh, guy has epididymal orchitis. What is the cause? It's chlamydia. It can be chlamydia, it can be uh, E. coli, and uh, it can be amidurion too if he is taking the drug. Yes. Most common is chlamydia. Okay. One thirty-nine cast was taken off. Then severe pain, skin shiny. What you have? Cellulitis because of the shiny skin. But usually, when you take off the cast, severe pain. It's usually compartment syndrome. Yes. With cast. Some it's option shiny. which was given in complex regional pain syndrome. Okay. In, uh, in that co compartment have... syndrome, patient will complain of pain before you remove cast. Yes. But after removing cast, you see the skin is shiny and there is severe pain. Then it could be complex, complex regional pain syndrome. Okay. Depends on the scenario. Yeah. Here, the question is not complete, I think. No. Yes. Many information missing. One forty weird one saying the lady had some unidentified decays procedure. Now she comes in with a stabbing right sided chest pain. Had a small of of hemoptysis. What happened? Options pulmonary infarct, pneumonia, panic attack. Now joking, this was an option. Aortic dissection. Okay, decays and stabbing right sided chest pain. Hemoptysis. And pulmonary infarct. Could be pulmonary infarction, yes. Pneumonia, it's not likely. It's not going to present like this. There will be history of fever and cough, and it doesn't have hemoptysis. Not like acute presentation of hemoptysis. Aortic dissection. The patient won't be stable. Here is going to be different picture for aortic dissection. Panic attack won't have hemoptysis. Pulmonary infarct. Is 
She has one forty one forty one definitive treatment for carpal tunnel scenario described. It's uh, um, release, release. Yeah. <laughs> but risk factors you already know. Yes, ma'am. Pregnancy, hypothyroidism, methotrexate use, excessive use of hands. Yes. One point two scenario describing bone pathology in child mentioned something about raised periosteum. Raised periosteum is in osteomyelitis. In osteomyelitis? It's bone pathology. Yes, ma'am. In periosteal on X ray we see the periosteal elevation. In evenings, we have uh, onion rings. Onion ring. Cotman triangle. In Cotman triangle, by the way, there is osteosarcoma. There is raised uh, periosteum. Yes. Okay. And in the osteomyelitis, uh, there is involucrum over the dead bone. So that is a different thing. And for this child to happen, osteomyelitis. Yeah, dead bone happens That's later, but at the first, there is periosteal elevation also in it's osteomyelitis. It's in fast test. There is a scenario where they have given yes. the X-ray show it periosteal elevation with, and nothing else start, is given. Yeah, starts with periosteal elevation osteomyelitis. Then when the dead bone dead uh, um, happens, it's the sequestrum, and then there is involucrum okay. when the new bone formation occurs. So the first step is this. In osteomyelitis. Yeah, but they will mention pain, I think, or history of relating to infection or something. This question is also incomplete. So, so what Thanks are the conditions? The so, what are the conditions which DDH. cause? Yes. A uh, breach, breach, uh, breach delivery. After breach delivery, yes. Uh, yeah. There are some other risk factor too, like a, a primary gravida, or if the um, female child or uh, fast child. Um, yes. How would you make your diagnosis? Uh, Ortolani. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, please. No, not in this. Uh, child is grown up. Maybe it's bigger and walks with intelligent gait or has uh, abnormal trees. Then how are you going to do the diagnosis? What imaging are you going to? Ask? MRI. Yes. Up to six months, we do ultrasonography. After that, we do uh, X-ray or uh, MRI. I don't remember. Yes. MRI for this one. One forty-four, twelve-year-old girl, not a boy, not bad. Pain in knee when tries to flex hip. It externally rotates. Sufi, step yes. upper, camera. Yes, Sufi, Sufi. Yes. Even when they have not mentioned that. That typical picture, yes, ma'am. The age group is very important it's in very these important. diseases. Very important, yes. In ortho. And this question, typical Bangladesh question. Yes, ma'am. 140, 145, seven year old man recently in Bangladesh now has bloody diarrhea. What is the cause? Typhoid fever, amoebic dysentery, compilobacter, amoebic dysentery. Amoebic, yeah. And Imu, Ilmoon doesn't like it when they mention that no, Bangladesh. Sounds, always, right? Yeah, sounds really typical. They mentioned yes, Egypt and they mentioned Bangladesh. This is. And ma'am, I told Ilmoon they are not uh, giving us any scenarios with blast. Otherwise, they would have mentioned Pakistan. No, 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 not necessarily. No uh, blast has taken has happened in. By the way, by the way, yeah. Doctor Samreen, happy happy Independence Day to you. Okay. And all the obviously Pakistanis. Mine is thirteenth, brother. Right now yeah. it's thirteenth. Yours is fourteenth. So happy to you. Time zone. Time. Time zone. Uh -huh. So aortic dissection. Which part of aorta is more susceptible? Pro ascending proximal aorta. Yes. 
So uh, tell me about it. Everything. And descending from proximal aorta, it's D back K class one and Stanford yes. class A. Yes. And it is always managed surgically by aortic wall replacement. And it can present with the symptom and signs of on ECG. We will have uh, it also causes myocardial infarction too because of the involvement of uh, arteries. And how, how uh, the present. surveillance is followed? How is it followed up? Monitoring section. Yes, aortic dissection. How is it managed? Madam, uh, Stanford B, D package second and three, they yeah. are managed by uh, medical management, antihypertensive, and certain yes. all those drugs. But class A or one is always always managed by surgery, aortic revolve yes. replacement. Yes. One forty-seven, twelve-year-old boy fell on his hand and one kind of fracture. So, what kind of fracture could? Green yes, stick. green stick. Yes. Nice. So, what happens in green stick? Only one cortex is involved. Yes, is involved. So, which classification are are we going to use for children? I don't know. Ma'am, are you no, asking it. about the epiphysis, uh, Salter Harris one? Or? Yes, Salter yes, Harris. Yes, Salter Harris. Okay. This one, uh, one type one and type five, confuses each other. Why? Yes, ma'am. On radiology. Because, yes. Okay. The class is transversely in class one and in class five. It's a compressed fracture, so it has same presentation on X-ray. Yeah. And this is what comes. So sterilization for scope. The gluteal dehyde, aldehyde in it. Okay, so th these sort of recalls, you know, they depend upon who was there and how well they read, and you have to only rely on them. So, Dr. Burhan, you're celebrating your national day. Yeah, ma'am, celebrating. <laughs> On Zoom. I'm a deeply patriotic person. Good to know. So, what is Ecclesia? It's a motility disorder of the esophagus yes. where there is absence of uh, that uh, absence of uh, ganglionic cell in the uh, myotic plexus, I think. Yes. Uh, so there is uh, difficulty to... in swelling. Yes. They difficulty said... in liquid and solid both. If untreated, and it can cause what? It can cause carcinoma. Which one? Treated. Achalasia. Uh, it's achalasia is a, co a columnar, so it's a adenocarcinoma. Yeah. No, squamous or carcinoma. Squamous. Oh, sorry, sorry. What no. about esophagus? Which carcinoma it causes? Yes. There is a deno. Yes. Yes, it's correct. Uh, hemophilia. This is with uh, spontaneous hemolysis. They give you some PT from whatever I choose factor it. Spontaneous hemolysis is always hemophilia A. Okay. Commonly. How many types of hemophilia are there? Three. Hemophilia A, B, C. Hemophilia yes. A is factor A deficiency. Uh, hemophilia B is factor nine. And hemophilia also C called is uh, Christmas disease. Christmas disease. Very good. Okay. And hemophilia C is, uh, I think, one very brand factor deficiency. 
Yes. And in hemophilia, APTT is uh, in hemophilia A, APTT is deranged. Fresh uh, parameters are normal, and uh, that's all I remember. <laughs> that's enough. Okay, bilateral. Because there was no details about bilateral filling. Okay, bilateral hydronephrosis, but question literally certified there was no detail about bladder filling residue. It can be transitional cell carcinoma later blocking the ureters. If uh, it's, ureters. yeah, uh, in, mo most of the information is missing. Yes, ma'am. Usually, if it's a kid, uh, child, we say yes. it's a posterior urethral wall. In EMR, yes. it's like that. So, what uh, what imaging would you use for a diagnosis? Sister urethrogram. Very good. And if you want to see uh, scarring? Demsa. Good. Renal function, but, DPDA. But for renal function, ideally, mag C. Yes. But in scarring, we do DPT. Yes. Knee injury, very but long. Yes. yes Knee injury, very long story, but somewhere there I saw TBS posterior imposition. That posterior posterior ligament injury then. Yes. Usually, cruciate ligament injury presents with hemorthosis when the uh, R, and if it's a meniscal injury, it's later. Uh, the hemorthosis and the swelling is after 12 hour duration usually and with a meniscal injury they usually give us a hint of locking of knee yes here it comes unlock knee okay. knee delayed swelling when jump something cannot unlock the knee it's meniscal tear yes so if there is knee injury and there is a uh, sound, then which injury is it? Ma'am, can you repeat please? Yes, uh, here I'm posting. painful uh, knee injury painful and uh, sound of injury then it will be popping sound it's yes. anterior cruciate usually anterior cruciate very good Okay. Uh, 155 had a stoma for something. Now pain has pain and not working. Uh, parastoma hernia, incisional hernia. Good. Parastoma or oh, there. Yeah. Could be incisional. Yeah, if option is given. One to six polyp in the bowel, what kind of change it is? Mm, it can be. Depends on the type of bowel. If small this bowel, is, uh, it's hematomatous polyp. If in large yeah, bowel, so, it, there are so many types of polyps. In yeah. ulcerative colitis, it is pseudopolyp or inflammatory polyp. Yes, uh, tell the pathological change that uh, can occur. Dysplasia. And then neoplasia eventually. Yeah. yeah, dysplasia. Okay, what is metaplasia? A change in the epithelium from one side to another. Reversible change. Yes, it's a reversible condition. One the seventh question about if someone getting a human heart wall, what kind of graph it is? It is. Allograft 
okay if it's from a human if it's from it's, other species yeah, depends yeah. on that yes Mostly graft is from uh, animals. Well, so it's xenograft. Metallic, yeah. So mostly from cow or pig. So yes, it's not aloe. Graft. Yes, ma'am. Aloe is from the same species. Xeno is from different species. No. Yes. So goat, I haven't heard. We have here cow or pig. Yes, ma'am. Bovine flaps. Yeah. So that is. The best is that you don't uh, have to take anticoagulants. Yes, ma'am. 158, what do you give in hypercalcemia first? Crystal arts or normal saline? Yes. 159 guy has appendectomy now is not fasting urine unwell what to do we'll check the catheter if it's blocked or unblocked and also check for hypovolemia by giving a fluid challenge depends yes. upon whole scenario depends upon whole scenario if it's if it has stopped all of a sudden there is zero then you'll ch check the catheter first yes, and then if it has stopped gradually and still something is coming then you will go for yeah, you don't normally, but yes. once he is not, he or she is not passing anything, then I think you should put catheter in. Yes, ma'am. Photo hypertension, yes. 160, photo hypertension, acetobiosis, what vein is the source of bleeding? Left gastric artery. Okay. Uh, this, uh, there are portal, uh, there are um, an yes, osteomotic. Three sides of portal, cable yes. and osteomosis at esophagus and anal region. And third one is uh, at umbilical side, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes. Esophageal is between the esophageal artery and left gastric artery, and uh, 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 rectal is one between the superior uh, rectal and mid, uh, middle rectal arteries. And uh, the third one I forgot, sorry. Are these arteries or veins? Veins. This veins. Sorry, vein. veins. 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 Yes, their area of liver should say she is correct. Something that's like trouble and weird ball. Your gluteal knob, gluteus medius, yes. vital gate, cardinal belong sign. Yes. One sixty two. A question describing a macular star verticula, but never saying those specific words. Asking where it is most likely found. Sixty to two hundred centimeter proximal from the iliocecal junction wall. How does it present? Uh, it will be asymptomatic, or when it's symptomatic, it will cause pain and uh, right iliopus pain, and sometimes bleeding too, or yes. iron deficiency anemia. Yes. And what is it? What is Michael star verticulum? It's out pouching of the epithelium uh, of the ileum. Not out pouching, remnant it's of vital, vital, vital yeah. vitello intestinal duct. Yes. And okay, it okay. contains what? Gastric, kind of gastric mucosa. mucosa or gastric mucosa. Yes. 
pancreatic both okay mostly gastric yes sir Once you see, go try with some problem amongst them. How division which vitamin? Vitamin A deficiency. Okay. There is another one. Patient has uh, has not been exposed. They are drug addicts or something, and they are living yes, under the yeah. They haven't been exposed to sunlight. Okay. So in that kind of MCQ as well, this will be the answer. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. One sixty-five patient with myasthenia gravis tumor in mid-ear. So what is this? It is thymoma. Thymoma. Yes. Yes. What is the blood supply of th thymus? So what is? Oh no. Thyroid, I think. Yes, I yeah. know that. Yeah. And we, we, what is the location of thymus? It's anterior mediastinum. Anterior, good. Right, good. What is the confusing question? With the patient has rheumatoid arthritis now having some kidney problem. Histology show rheumatoid arthritis histology is necrosis granulomatous and okay kidney stone MLI doses yes 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 A -A. yes MLI doses yes. Once you see some bloody diarrhea overseas in school, what is the treatment? Metronidazole. Yes. Why? Why not mebendazole? Uh, I don't know. That contains both over and. Uh, this, uh, what is it? Is it ascariasis? Yes. Ascariasis. That's what you tell us. Yes. Ask your mother. Can't be giardiasis. Only giardiasis is metro. And other, all other are mebendazole in EMRCS. So okay. ovan cyst is, I think, in ascariasis, right? Or not? I, I don't yes, remember. I Sorry. So, yes. Then it will be mebendazole. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. 168. Best imaging for what I think was pulmonary aneurysm being described but never existing. Okay. The gold standard is seat. Uh, okay. Initial is. Uh, CTPA and the gold standard is pulmonary angiography. Angio yeah, angiogram, yeah. Initial is CTPA and gold standard is pulmonary angiography. Uh, okay, once it's a shrapnel or something, stab him in the butt, but I think what to do? Remove it and clean it, but don't close it. Leave it in C2. If it's, yeah, if no problem and has been there for a while, we will leave it. But if it's bleeding and if it, there is an injury, we will remove it. We will Maybe what they the want to, but, yes, what to do uh, with, the, with the closure technique. But if well, something is like this, you are not... If a dirty wound, we won't it. close it. Yes. Yes. So what is Morton's neuroma? Um, Skinning or fibrosis because... of the digital nerves. Uh, yes. Yes. And In the level the most, third of fourth two. Yeah. Metatarsal most common is there. Yes. Gout is first uh, metatarsal head. Second is stress fracture, and third yes. and fourth is motor neuroma. Yes. And uh, halux valgus is also first. And, uh, okay. 171 screaming child has some red poop. Interception is yes. going to be typical feature of crying, 
drawing of what, legs. Drawing, then, yes. What is yes, the sir. age? Pretty. Less than two, more commonly. Yes. They can even Starts have like five, cold winters and months. summer. Uh, male. Yeah. Yeah. After they start weaning, it happens. Yes. Ten days. One thirty-two. Another. Yes. Another child premature ten day later having bile from and bloody diarrhea is all mature premature child necrotizing anterior colitis always. Yes. We manage it conservatively with antibiotics first, but if it's not improving, we will go for surgery and resect the ischemic gut. Close gut. We have something on this. Not many are left. Okay, good. 173. Guy lost sensation on the medial knee and a calf. Basically, saphenous nerve, what I want to root like. Okay, if saphenous nerve and root is uh, L4 and 5 mainly, and it's a branch of a femoral nerve. Yes. As a result of which, which injury, which procedure? Superficial peroneal, except the post webs, it's deep. Later side of foot is sural, and uh, sole of foot is tibial, posterior side is tibial. So it's saphenous, it's confirmed saphenous. I'm sorry, I was disconnected. No, it's okay, ma'am. So I didn't hear anything you said. Um, they asked about the root value of saphenous stuff, and it's yes. L3, L4. Which nerve supports the angle of the yes greater auricular as C three C four C two three most commonly damaged nerve in superficial parotidectomy. And all of the faces supplied by trigeminal except the angle of jaw. They ask this too. Yeah. One seventy five next surgery with harsh voice. Which branches? Which nerve of branch? Vagus recurrent rangier. Yes. If it's uh, something related to pitch, then it's superior branch or superior rangier branch of vagus nerve. If it's horse wise, it's recurrent rangier. Good. If it is unilateral. Ma'am, uh, then gargling sounds. And Doesn't if it's bilateral aphonia, aphonia yeah. and uh, difficulty breathing, stridor. Okay. So Last we're applying a fluid with the lesion, all the nerve at risk. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Discussed. Very good. Excellent. So? Yes, ma'am.